Hey, what's up everyone? Eddie Martinez here with the Recording Radio and Film Connection and welcome back to another sound design tutorial in Logic Pro X. In this video, we're gonna learn how to make a bass guitar uh, using nothing but sculpture and a little bit of sound design. Let's go ahead and begin. Uh, first thing we're gonna wanna do is uh, select our instrument. So we'll go to our instrument rack and go all the way down to our sculpture modeling synth and select stereo. Cool. Uh, right now we're looking at our sculpture synth, which is a really great synth. Uh, you can really, uh, you know, move around these parameters and make some really awesome sounds. Uh, we're, right now what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to go to our tutorial settings and default. Awesome. Let's go ahead and hear what it sounds like. So it kind of just sounds like a toy nylon string guitar. It doesn't sound too great. It doesn't sound too awful either. It just, just sounds kind of like toyish. Uh, but what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to make this sound like a pretty awesome bass guitar. Uh, so let's go ahead and begin by selecting our transpose going down two octaves, and you should notice a significant difference already. So it sounds a little bit more like a bass guitar, but we're really gonna tweak this out a little bit to make it sound more like an electric bass guitar. Um, so what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna get our material ball and move it up to around 60, or 0.60, pardon me. So here, awesome. Uh, next, we're going to go over to our object and move up our timbre to around 60 again, or 0.60. Cool. We're going to go to our uh, velocity sensitive slider and move this around uh, here around 70-ish, or as close as we can get it. 0.71 will work fine. We're going to go ahead and leave our, our, our gate and variation right here in the center. We're not going to change that. So we're pretty much done with this area right here. Uh, next, we're gonna go to our pickups, okay? And we're gonna slide over uh, our pickup one just a little bit to around 20. And I know it seems kind of silly, it, it didn't make that much of a difference, but you know, with these frequencies, it actually, every slight adjustment will uh, make bigger differences as you move along, as you're moving all of these different sliders, uh, you'll notice uh, major changes just from slight, uh, you know, parameter changes. Okay, cool. Uh, so I'm going to get our pickup B and I'm going to move this to around 40. We kind of have a more of a hollow sound. We're going to get our uh, fine tune for pickup A and move this to around 10. And that should give us back a little bit more point uh, to our sound. We're going to get uh, our fine tune on pickup 2 and move this to around 50. Uh, so now we're kind of getting the shape that we want and the sound that we want. Uh, next, we're going to go over to our material loss and bring this down a little bit. 20 should be fine. And we're going to get a resolution and move this up a little bit to maybe around 70. We could probably go a little bit higher without making it too, too big. Nice. Now we're going to go back to our material area right here, move this ball closer to the wood area, and we're going to want to move this exactly to 0 0.26. And the reason why I want you to move it exactly to around 0 0.26 is because it sounds a little bit more like a guitar that way. Or a bass guitar, really. All right, cool. Uh, now, all we need to do is just drop it down one octave on our keyboard. Alright guys, so that's how you guys make a very simple bass guitar sound using Sculpture in Logic Pro X. Now, if you guys like this video, go ahead and leave your comments and thoughts down below. And of course, subscribe to the channel. If you guys want to learn more about sound design and recording engineering, check out www.recordingconnection.com. We're a fully accredited recording school that will set you up in a professional studio near your hometown so that you can learn one-on-one -on -one with a professional engineer. So if you want to learn more, go ahead and check out www.recordingconnection.com. I'm Eddie Martinez, and of course, I'll catch you guys on the next video. Peace. Mm -hmm.